Hi, and welcome to the Cube Dash walkthrough. Cube Dash is an interactive cluster shell that has a couple of built in commands. You can list them with help. And in this walkthrough, on the right hand side, I have a watch on some cluster resources, parts, deployments, and services. And as you can see here, a um, couple of test files that I'm going to execute in a moment. So uh, PS, as you would expect from a local show, lists the running processes, in our case, distributed processes, just checking where I am. OK. Uh, as you would expect from a shell, you can uh, do the search, and autocomplete, the history there, uh, and so on. Now let's execute a, a binary. Um, using the ampersand means uh, putting it in the background. Effectively, cube dash launches a deployment and a service. Uh, the name of the service is uh, the name of the binary. Keeping it easy. And now with PS, we actually see that um, long running distributed process running here. Let's do the same uh, for an interpreted case. So uh, note JS a script. And again, with ampersand, putting it in the background, uh, long running distributed process. And uh, because it was so fun, we do it again with another uh, Node.js script. All right. Now, keep an eye on the right hand side where you see the uh, deployments and parts and services uh, that run in the cluster being spun up. Uh, you can always drop down to raw mode. So if you want to execute any kind of kubectl command, you can directly do that by pen, uh, pre penning it with a backtick just to check. Yep, uh, all the things are here running in uh, Kubernetes. Cube dash is um, multi context, multi clusterware, which means you can switch between different um, clusters. In my case here, I have an official cluster as well, uh, running connected to it. And I can list the context there, context essentially being a tuple of uh, a name, cluster, author info, namespace, and I can switch between them. And you see that in the prompt, see Minikube currently. And if I uh, uh, use the in built-in command use, I can switch between uh, the contexts there. And uh, I will always only see the distributed processes with PS, which are in the current context I'm using. So if I switch over to the OpenShift cluster, um, then uh, I won't see any processes because Kip Dash um, does manage any processes there for me right now. Switching back to Minikube one and keeping an eye on the resources there just to make the point. Now, as with the local shell, you can kill any distributed process uh, by referring to its distributed process ID, which is in our case not an integer, but a string starts with cube dash. OK. And uh, just for the giggles, uh, we uh, launch a terminating uh, distributed process, uh, which will be launched as or executed as a part, not a deployment and service, but a part that returns um, you know, some value. And um, yeah, you can run any uh, kind of uh, one-shots there, binaries, uh, Node, JS, Python will be currently supported. And um, yeah, all the long running processes you would see with PS, the uh, ones that run as one-shots don't show up in PS. And um, yeah. That's pretty much about it right now. So um, give it a try. Um, let us know what we can uh, do to make the galaxy a better place with Cube Dash. And um, yeah, may the cube be with you. Thank you for watching.